Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Port City Podcast. Today, we're talking about whether Novrich is overhyped or underrated. We'll also be discussing some of our personal experiences with his replicas. And after that, we'll be making a special announcement. So stay tuned till the end. All right, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, we are here with the YouTubes. The uh, YouTubes. Talking about um, Daddy Airsoft. Poppy uh, Airsoft. Papa Airsoft, Novrich himself. Is he overhyped or is he underrated? There's a lot of controversy over this. There is. There's, and, and it's not like Novrich is a controversial person, like whatever. There's just on the Airsoft field, if you walk out there with a Novrich product you're gonna have half the people go oh, oh dude, dude like Novrich, i love whoa. i want to get one is SSR it good four? you know what i'm saying and then there's gonna be the guys that are like Ugh, like oh, my Novrich? cry tag shoots better yeah oh i only you know i only buy this brand i only buy matrix yeah so it's like Anyways, we'll, yeah. we'll we'll get into the 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 kind of conclusion of that towards the end, but we want to so, take a minute to. I think that something important to preface is airsoft gear is airsoft gear. The important thing with any of that is personal preference. It is what works best for you sure. in in your situation with your kit, right? Yeah. If it is a Crytac, that's great. If it's a Matrix, that's great. If it's a Lancer Tactical Gen Three, that's great. If it's, you know, a Novrich blaster, that's fantastic too. Yep. They're all valid. Oh. They're all good. Oh, we did it again. Did it again. Wow, we did it we're again. We're just going to keep going, dude. I, hey, we're still rolling. We just, <laughs> we just forgot to turn the line So on. I think that this is not a, this isn't a like, you know, Novrich is the best and like you shouldn't buy Crytek or all these other things that, that yes. like we say this, we do this thing of making fun of people who yeah. say, oh, well, you do this. There's nothing wrong with Crytek. The problem is only. people people who think that that's the only thing that you can yes, buy or that's the dude. only thing out there that's good to there use. There are some the same that there are Glock suckers <laughs> in in the real steel community. There are some real like die hard I will not touch another, another yeah. replica. Only this brand is good. And that's yeah. like to me Elitist. coming coming from coming from you know, church, that's the KJV, you know, exclusive people. You know what I'm Isaac's saying? trying to read the message Bible you know with the saying? Rice Krispie Treat recipe. I'm trying to read, I'm trying to read, you know, NIV or ESV or something. And they're like, you're going to hell. <laughs> right. <laughs> but that's what it feels like. That is what it feels like. That is what it feels like. So that's just prefacing that. We're not advocating for any particular brand or any particular piece of gear. Yeah. All of it's valid. Whatever works best for you. We are here to talk about Novrich, whether or not his products are truly good or like the hype, is it deserved? You know, does he not get the recognition that he deserves? That's what we're talking about. So who is Novrich? First of all, yeah, you may we should be hearing establish this that. And, and may not know at all who Novrich is. Or alternatively, you may know the name Novrich, but and not not, not, what, the, not the dude, not what that is. Yeah. Yeah. So Isaac, if you if you, you wouldn't mind start? enlightening the people. So okay, so we n have watched Novrich on YouTube. He's been for doing airsoft years, for for years. at least what, I think 10 it was years? I think it was two thousand and eight that he got his first like so, VSR ten setup. Um, I don't know when he started making YouTube videos. It might have been a little later than that. Um, but I mean the, the point being he's an airsofter, right? He yeah. started playing airsoft, he's a normal guy. Uh, and he started making YouTube videos, mm -hmm. uh, of airsoft sniper gameplay. Now he's not the first person to do this. He's not the oldest YouTube sniper out there, but he, in a lot of ways is the reason why that type of gameplay footage is is what it is today he had a major impact on what well, like when he you innovated. go watch yeah when you go watch a airsoft gameplay video like there's so many elements from novrich old novrich videos that are used right and, and, and i'm not again i'm not saying that he's the first to have done this 
or whatever. He just his videos were so popular. Like this is kind of the what 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 most people think of when they see airsoft, and that's with you know the hit markers, the scope cams, all that stuff. I mean, I remember he used to have a whole camcorder. Yeah, he set up like like the camera that we use to record this basically yeah, on top he of his out a scope. Way to put it on top of his scope and make a housing for it to keep it safe from BBs and then spray painted it. Anyways, um, he he really did pioneer a lot of the way that airsoft gameplay is recorded. Yeah, um, and and he also was the reason for a lot of people to start playing airsoft. Yeah, he's I the reason I that we started, started playing. getting serious into airsoft because of his stuff. Yeah. I wanted to be an airsoft you know, sniper and, and, and I still do play with that original setup that he does. I have. Like he it's, loves it. It's, it's fun. Um, and I think that the, you know, this, this concept of innovation and like taking, taking what exists in airsoft and making it better, making it more accessible is really what he's done. Well, that, that, us and a lot of people have been attracted to for, yeah. for a while is yeah. his gameplay is very good. It's very exciting. He does a very good job. Entertaining. It's very entertaining. Well produced. But yeah. then also even before, you know, the launch of his company and him starting to make like airsoft products, yeah. he was releasing a lot of videos like, Hey, here's how you maintain your, your blasters. Here's how, here's how you to upgrade up, your sniper, upgrading your stuff. Like I think the yeah. first, the first, thing that he really released wasn't even the ssg24 it was an upgrade kit an upgrade for kit the vsr 10 yeah um and you know and in my mind when you say novrich and i think this could just be because of how old we are and how long we've been <laughs> don't watching, age me dude don't how long we've been watching airsoft on you youtube tell these people how old i you am know what I'm saying like we were there when it was written, right? You know what I'm saying? Like when Airsoft <laughs> cite the deep magic. When Airsoft to me, was witch. becoming a YouTube thing, right? Obviously, Airsoft's been around since like what the 80s, like is when it was yeah. invented. But when it was becoming more popular, right? Online, we've we've been there for that. We've mm -hmm. been watching for, for since we were kids, and um, I remember when Airsoft was just like the the cheap little yeah. deals you buy from Walmart or Bass yeah. Pro Shop, running dude. around in the backyard, yeah. And, yeah. Um, 2016, 2017, in that time period is when he developed the SSG 24, mm -hmm. which is, was his first sniper rifle that he, he released. And in Novrich fashion, he innovated. He took something that already existed and made it, I, I, I guess maybe innovated, uh, it made it better, right? Yeah. It's not, I guess innovation may be the wrong word because it's not necessarily new, but it's better, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't look at a car company when they make a new car that's, like, better and be like, you're just copying everyone else. It's like, yeah. no, they, they've made a new model, something better, right? Yeah. They're, they're, they're advancing this industry. So, it's evolving. Um, it's growing. He, he did that. It was the first time you could have a sniper of that level of performance out of the box stock with no issues. And on top of that, he was selling it directly from the factory to cut out distribution costs. So, like, it was a big deal at the time. And um, But since then, he's released a plethora of products, and Novrich really is a brand, right? Yeah, Novrich, to, to the modern airsofter, is a company, right? Yeah. No different than any other any other uh group or or manufacturer and so but when the, i think the big thing is i'm trying to say is when people say novrich i think the dude this is like th this is the guy the random yeah. dude who's been making videos out of his you know apartment you know playing airsoft on the weekends but he kind I, of is the definition of airsofter that made it right like yeah yeah you know the airsoft dream is to make content that goes viral and then eventually create your own airsoft brand right like that's like if you're he's doing airsoft content creation and he's not i mean swamp sniper's done it uh silo's done it there's yeah. there's a ton of airsofters that have that have been able to take their brand online and make it into a like actual like business so um and that's what novrich has done that's and kind of the with with a lot of that I think, you know, when you when you become when you get to that level where 
yeah you know you've become <laughs> you start to get more of an icon than just an individual you do start to get people who are hate. haters so, and now not it, it's not that it's unfounded um there's definitely been some some misses with Novrich, yeah. but I think that the the main complaints that we see is that like he sold out and he's not like just an airsofter anymore. He's like all he's like he's a corporate and everything. Yeah. It, it's and and to to that I would say, yeah, it's been his business even before the Novrich brand, like with all the airsoft stuff. Airsoft content creation has been his business uh, since 2008. You know, he's been doing airsoft content creation for that, and that's been his, you know, source of income. And then now he's expanded to the point of bringing airsoft gear to airsofters, trying to make it accessible, and it's just, it's not being received. Yeah, and I think some of that is going to be, you know, you have a lot of snobs out yeah. there who, like we said, are, oh, this is not this brand, so I'm not going to buy it, or I'm not going to, why would you waste your money? And, you know, hey, man, the SSG24 is too expensive. I'll say that. It also it, it doesn't is, exist anymore. It is. The only way you can get the SSG24, as far as I know, is to buy the Remington or whatever it is. The uh, licensed 700 one. or whatever. He has a licensed uh, SSG 24 on his website. Oh. So you're, it, you know, it's more expensive. Um, is it worth it? Yeah. I mean, I would say it probably still is worth it, right? It's still a very well performing blaster. Inflation, right? It's, it's, Inflation. it's going to be more expensive now than it was however many years ago that was. I don't, what was that? How many years ago was that? Six? Dude, I remember when you bought that thing. You were... I don't even think you were in high school yet. No, I would have been like... F Freshman? I would have been like 14. Maybe 14, maybe 15. Yeah. So uh, you had it before the first time you went to Rev. Yeah. Yeah. So I would have been like 14. Yeah. Um. But it... it I don't know. It, it's one of those things where people are going to always find something to be upset about. Yeah. And it's not, like you said, it's not that he's faultless, right? And a lot of the things we hear is like, it's too expensive, it's overhyped, like he's copying other companies. There's there's also been there some is... complaints about the function of some of the stuff. Like I, I've, from his like gas blowback stuff, I've heard that it's, you know, not reliable. But to that, I'd say... Show me a gas blowback that is, is reliable. reliable. Dude, show me one yeah. that works every single time you pull the trigger. Without fail. And I don't mean one that's like, oh, 95% of the time it works. This is better than a Novrich product. How much work did you put into setting that stuff and, up, dialing and, it in before it got to the point where it shoots most of the time? And I'll say this. My Novrich SSP-1 never fails me the only issue i ever have is with green gas exactly it is a green gas issue it's right? either too it hot is... too cold yes yeah. yes and so, so the, a lot of the issues that people have with novrich products are not a novrich designed this badly it is a this aspect of airsoft which is always this way is this way with novrich products too yeah. and no matter how much he you know we we work to to like fix this and remedy this there's some things that are just going to be the way that they are because science you know green gas is unless what you know like there i'm sure you could do some science to insulate the mags a little bit better would it be more expensive yes would people complain about the cost of that yes, yes. <laughs> like yeah. But there's going to always be something. Yeah, exactly. And it's, I know it sounds like we're just only defending Novrich and, and you know, you're here to, to find out whether or not it's worth it. Right. So let's, let's, we've, we've talked about some of the complaints people have. We've talked about some of the issues. Let's take a minute to talk about our personal experiences. Yeah. We've, we've play tested several, not all, but several of his products. And, uh, We'll just go through these one by one. So the SSP one, we've both owned one mm -hmm. of those. My, th I mean, we have two of them sitting right here. My thing with it is, it's it's heavy. It feels good. I actually probably shouldn't have it, this out on YouTube. It but also was his first like it, yeah. gas blowback it, pistol. It's heavy. 
feels good. Very responsive trigger, snappy. The mm-hmm. slide, I mean, it kicks, it's loud, it's accurate, it shoots far, it shoots fast. It Overall, the best gas blowback pistol I've ever used, okay? Green gas, consistent issues with green gas. But my Tokyo Marui pistols that I have, same issue. Yeah. Same issue with the green gas. It, it is, there is only so much, right, that you can do inside of the technology. The SSP2. Uh, we we uh, play with one of the guys in our group owns the SSP2 and, and I've played with it uh, once or twice. Um, and it, it's very similar to the SSP1. Obviously, it's just an updated version of that uh, or an updated model of it. Um, there, uh, Shea has had some issues with it um, as far as like the slide jamming. Right. Anytime that's happened, it has been user error. It has been that the pistol has been disassembled and put back together and there's a piece that is incorrect or or just not knowing how to put it back on, how to oil properly, where to clean and, and, and like the order in which to do certain actions. And again, he has all of this stuff listed out. There's a, a full airsoft Academy on his website that tells you how to break down all of his blasters, clean them, put them back together, how to maintenance them, how to, you know, keep them working and functioning, how to load them, how to do all the stuff. So a lot of the problems that the SSP2 have had, or that we've had with the SSP2 has been user error, has been the thing, you know. There was was one issue that did exist on the SSP1 and 2 where the hammer can drag on the slide a little bit, which can create some extra friction, but Novrich... Uh, they, the customer service knows that and, and they have a solution for it and i mean their solution is just break to, it in just break it in rack it i mean there's use not, it use it, it, the pistol and that's not the only airsoft um system that has that like we were talking with cameron about daytona kits and he was like it's a what thousand or so oh, like I, I think yeah there's a yeah it's like a thousand to two thousand round break-in period yeah. with that kind and, of stuff and, and that's to be you know expected with some things i get it should it come fully functioning ideally yes you should not have any issues but it is also precision cut metal pieces and whatnot that yeah. there's going to be some some breaking in that needs to yeah. be done it's just the way that stuff goes um i'm trying to keep us moving because we're running good. a little long you've the, talked about your experience of the ssg24 the SSG 24, I've, I've talked about it many times on the yeah. podcast so i'll kind of brush over it really quickly amazing sniper mm-hmm. the only issue i've ever had with it is that the stock is a little it has the butt stock actually extends out um the little rubber pad it's a little bit wobbly and novrich offered for that first wave because i was like a first wave buyer offered for all those first wave buyers to receive in the mail a free fixed version of it and i honestly didn't care enough to sign up for it so i didn't and that's the only issue i've ever had with it functions perfectly to this day i haven't found a, a sniper i like more um the ssg 96 it was supposed um, to be very similar to the SSG 24, just in a different body style. And a little bit cheaper. Yeah. Um, I wasn't as impressed with it. I'll be honest. The SSG 96, I don't think it wasn't worth the money. It was a lot cheaper. Yeah. Um, I think it, it's worth the price point you're paying for it, uh, but it, it did not hold up to the 24 i yeah. felt like uh still a good sniper option for a beginner but, but that's not like my favorite that's like trying to compare dale to dale jr you know um <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. or like or like coke to diet coke that one yeah yeah um the ssx 23 carbine uh i know a lot of people love that platform mm-hmm. i didn't care much for it uh um, one of the uh one of the guys with um airsoft junkies tca that i ran with at HPA thunderdome tapped. no oh no he was running mags really with, and the ss the uh what you said the ssx 23 he had the uh the 303 the the carbine yeah yeah the full sorry. size carbine that's yeah. what i meant so that's, there's the ssx 23 which, which is, is the pistol, pistol and, and i think the he does make three is the I think he makes a drop-in carbine kit for the SSX twenty three, maybe. Oh, I don't know. The three oh three, the one the that is, is a fully it is a fully integrated carbine. Yeah. yeah. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of it, mostly because of the um 
the green gas just was not working. Again, the green gas yeah. was the big issue. Now, people HPA tap them and love them. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and I know people run them with mags and like them. I wasn't a huge fan. The um, the biggest issue I had is just it was such a long trigger pull that on our fields where we're at right now, everything's well, it's so double action. Close, yeah, everything's so close quarters. It just felt too slow. Yeah. I couldn't keep up with everyone else. Now, running it as a DMR setup, I was enjoying because it was pretty good. But like, it was just the reason I bought it because I was like, okay, I can run this at long range and at close range. So I put some canted sights and stuff. But every time I would try to run it, the green gas would just like not hold. Yeah. Um, you have the Novrich sound grenades. I do have the Novrich sound grenades. They're good. Um, they seem to trap dirt a little bit easier. So I find I have to kind of clean them out. Uh, they, and and this could also be just an issue with me not loading them properly because I feel like sometimes, sometimes they are, you know, like I, I really have to throw them up against something in order to get them to pop. And then sometimes they, you know, not like in my hand or like in the air or anything, but sometimes it's like, okay, well, that one just, like, barely grazed that piece of cover and went yeah. off. So, okay. I think that's more so just I need to learn how much green gas to load into the magazine or to the grenades to get them to, to do effectively. They seem to, when you do it properly, um, not have any issue going off. Uh, again, you just got to make sure that they're clean. Um, he gives you the little, like, uh, discs. discs yeah. uh, and they're, like, a nice cardstock. Um and I've even had them. Sometimes I've been able to reuse them if they don't like, if they don't like burst if fully. They don't, yeah, split um, in half. I don't know if I would advise that. I'm sure he wouldn't. Uh, you can load BBs into them uh, for that extra, like you know, throwing BBs out and whatnot. They're good. They're sixty dollars. I bought two of them when the ATF banned all that uh, pyro stuff uh, a while yeah. back, um, and they're really good. Um, I, you know, again, I just need to learn how to, how to load them properly. I think, um, the, the other thing that I recently got was the SSE 18, which is his, uh, AEG Glock 18. Um, dude, not like that thing. I ran it, uh, by itself. Yeah. Um, for one of our like closer, you know, CQB games that we were running last weekend with an extendo with, mag. with that hundred round extended mid cap thing, boy, howdy, that thing was tearing up. Like, I mean, I, and I was going up against some HPA AG, you know, full size rifles and doing it right now. You could say the context of the field in which we were playing on the way that the cover works, the gameplay style. Yes. I mean, even just as a secondary, but yeah, like, what if else it's are doing... you going to run on there? Uh, HPA tapped high cap with an M4 mag? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, that's what that it, is. Full auto, semi, either way, it's good. I got the hop up dialed in and it was it was shooting all the way across the field. Yeah, laser um, beam. And I, it was a bit slow. I was running two fives in there. I think you can run at the very least two eights. Um, so what I might do is up, up the weight BB uh and and maybe use it a little bit more but yeah i i've had a great experience with the sse 18 so far and even like you know aeg pistols are something that's like a weird thing people are like oh aeg pistols are not good but this one seems to be reliable it's it shoots really well uh it's got a good fire rate good mag capacity yeah Yeah. feels good in the hand um finally is the ssr 77a2 uh if if you're watching this video Friday when it's released, tomorrow we are going to be dropping the unboxing video for this. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much detail because I do want you guys to go watch that. Uh, also, if you're watching it later, we'll link it up here. Yeah. Uh, it's good. It's I'll say real that. good. It's really good. It's real good. Quite possibly my favorite best. AEG I've ever used. It might be the best. Um, There's a lot of specs and stuff, and we get into the details in that, but... It's an average product that works out of the box. And that is the consistent thing is even if it is not the best, it is. And I know that people are like, oh, it should just work out of the box no matter what. Yeah, dude, there's so many companies that they don't, right? You think about like GHK, 
everyone complains about those gas blowbacks because you have to do a bunch of work to them before they're ready to run. And even Novrich, when you buy his products, part of the package that you get when you when you receive it is um, a video that tells you, hey, now that you've got your product, take a video of you opening it up and unboxing it so that we can ensure that Everything is there. Nothing's missing. Nothing's broken. So that when you go over your package and you yeah. you inspect everything, if there is anything that's broken, we can know that it was from the shipping. They want to make sure that that the airsofter that's purchasing the equipment is covered. They also tell you the things to do before you use your blaster. Clean the barrel. Inspect the battery. Make sure that everything looks good. Make sure that all the pieces are there. Nothing's broken. No. You know, plug everything up, get some test fires, dial in your hop up, make sure everything's functioning properly. Regardless, we say it works out of the box. And that is true for a lot of things. Um, Novrich does have a lot of products that you can just open the box and start using. The The AUG was one of those. This this pistol, the SSE-18 was one of those. Um, but even inside of that, there's still some dialing in that needs to be done. Yeah. And if if you if you think that you're going to open up an airsoft product and just be able to, you know, pull yeah, the trigger and it fine. fire BBs yeah. in a straight line, yeah. then you've not played airsoft before, and that's fine. <laughs> that, yeah, but there's some dialing in that has to happen when you, whenever you buy a new product. Novrich makes that clear. He makes sure that you know that hey, clean the barrel before you shoot this thing. There could be debris in it from shipping. Clean the barrel. I so, just I watched. Other companies make these products and they fall apart after three Dude, to five years. You know what I'm saying? My Falcor defense is last forever. My Falcor defense licensed uh, EMG blaster that I bought a few like years ago never worked properly. Yeah. Never worked out of the box. Yeah. Um. And I parched it out. I I I yeah. tore it down and I put those parts on on a Others better do. functioning AEG yeah. that I still use. Yeah. So, we've had some good experiences, some bad experiences. I think, in conclusion, mm -hmm. where we stand on this is Novrich cares about the player. He wants to make sure that the player succeeds. Yeah, he he is dedicated to improving Airsoft. Uh, and we see that all the time with his products. He's not trying to invent something new, necessarily, as much as like, hey... Like for the AUG, it's like, hey, why don't we have a good AUG? Yeah. One of his big things was I trained, he, uh, Novrich trained with the AUG during his time serving in the Austrian military. That was like his primary weapon platform. And he loved it. And he loved it. He was like, I want this in Airsoft. So he made that. You know what I'm saying? So, and he also play tests all his own stuff. Yeah. And um, I think the biggest thing that we see with Novrich stuff is I would, I would encourage you, because there's so many haters online, mm -hmm. go to your Airsoft field right, and find a player using Novrich products. Think about everyone we've met that has Novrich products. Mm -hmm. When has anyone ever said anything other than, I love this? There's So the, the one thing that I, I will say is I have heard, I love this. I had to do some dialing in. But yeah. now that I've got it set up the way that I like it, it's amazing. Yeah. That's the only thing I ever hear. Ever hear. We have we know people who only run all Novrich. Yeah. Yeah. We know some people who from head to toe, they're not all Novrich. Out. And yeah. they, they seem happy. It. They're happy, man. They seem like they're having a good time yeah. airsofting. Yeah. They're I'm over here working on my stuff between games. They're just over there. Cradled sipping, in the arms of Daddy Airsoft. Some water, you know. Ready to, for the next game? This is I'm Novrich, and this yeah, is this is, this is the airsofter. This is him. <laughs> this right is here. you buying Novrich. Yeah, that's this it. is your brain on Novrich. Let Daddy Novrich rock you to airsoft sleep. So, but I I do think you guys need to to think about again. What is your play style? Yeah. What do you want? Hey, how much money do you want to it, spend? It's on like this? I said. I I wanted that carbine. Because I wanted something that was going to serve me well close quarters as well as far away. Well, the double action trigger meant it was slower than everyone's DSG, you know, builds inside of those buildings. And mm. I didn't like it. So it doesn't mean it's bad. I just didn't like it. Um, but I, I mean, at the end of the day, Novrich is very reliable. His products are going to do 
what they say. Obviously, if there's a manufacturing error or a fluke, like you can go through guest, not guest services, uh, <laughs> customer service, customer service. I mean, guest um, services, yeah, customer service. But tell them, dude, the customer service issue I, we had. <laughs> I ordered, so I ordered my SSE 18 and additional magazines for the AUG. Um, and I went through the whole checkout They're process. Literally sitting right here, we're yeah. looking at it right now. I put in my address, and when I hit checkout, I realized that the address had updated itself when I did the payment information. It updated itself to the wrong address. It was it was shipping to Ohio via PayPal. Via PayPal, PayPal yeah. overwrote the um, stuff we had in there. So I noticed that, and I was like, "Oh, I'm in Savannah, Georgia. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get these. This isn't happening." So. Um, I reached out to Novridge Support, let them know what had happened, let them know the orders that I had submitted, um, and let them know the updated address. They had already mm-hmm. shipped it. <laughs> they had already shipped it. Within the, like two hours. <laughs> that that day, they got an email response back to me saying, hey, we're looking into this. Like We will let you know what happens. The next day, I got an email saying, hey, we've let FedEx know to update your shipping or to update your, your address. And you should be good. And I got, I still, I ordered it the Sunday before we went to go play Airsoft. All of that happened. Um, I got the email response like Monday, maybe Tuesday morning. And I still had at the very least the SSE 18 in my dry or like on my front porch by Friday. Yeah. Like they were already on top of it, got everything fixed, made sure there wasn't anything else that I needed. It was great. That that is a consistent theme that Novrich has good customer support. When Shay was having issues with his SSP2, uh, when when we first discovered the the friction issue, which again, the friction issue is only if you if you very gently rack that thing. If you are doing a a if you're racking it like you mean it, it's not a problem at all. If you're shooting it, it's not a problem. If you're like, ooh, ee ee ee, uh, ooh then yeah, it, it might be an issue. But we were dealing with that, talking to customer service, and they were more than helpful. They were you know, requesting videos so they could see closer what the issue was. And then they you know, were able to give us a few options. And it, it was, it ended up being just, hey, you just have to wear it down over gotta, time. Like, it's you just, just gotta mean it. Yeah, you just gotta mean it. And and they told us that. And it was like, in, in all honesty, it was, it was like talking to another air softer yeah. on yeah, the field yeah, and them going me. yeah dude you just got to mean it like yeah. you just got to rack it like you mean it yeah they're we, air softers man we've gone exceptionally long on we today. have almost, but this is worth al- it almost twice as long as we normally would um just roundabout actually so we'll we'll wrap things up here but yeah it final thoughts right look at his products find some gameplay See if it fits your play style. I don't think the issue is the quality of it, right? I don't think that's necessarily in question. I think it is, is this going to fit what you want it to do for you? And uh, and if you and if you shop well, right, if you think about what you want and you buy the right products, I think you can enjoy Novrich products just as much as you can anything else. And and uh, I'm I'm overly satisfied with everything that we get from him. Yeah. Um, and I and I would re- I'd recommend it. Yeah, I would too. So, um, again, guys, check out the uh, A two unboxing that we did to see more about that uh, specifically. And then you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're watching the abbreviated version of this podcast. Go to Patreon. You can go to Patreon. Uh, there are there's free content on Patreon. There is the full uh, video experience because this the isn't Port it. City podcast. Uh, for five dollars a month uh, is the starting tier subscription. There's also the full audio only experience available for free anywhere you find podcasts. But if you're not going to Patreon, you're really missing out because there is plenty of free content there. There's also more to this podcast than just this segment that you see yeah. on YouTube. We do we do a segment before, we do a little bit after this. So yeah. you're missing out on that if you're just getting this from YouTube. So um, I think more importantly than all of that. You should go play Airsoft. You should definitely go play Airsoft.
All right, Airsofters, here's what I need you to do. I need you to go to PortCityAirsoft.com and sign up for Operation Sovereign Shield Infernal Fury on November 15th. Come out to Hopper's Paintball and Airsoft and to make Airsoft history with a little bit of pewing, what? A little bit of running, what? And a whole lot of airsofting, what? To win the game for your team. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Disclaimer, we do not own the rights to Stone Cold Steve Austin.